Hi everyone, I'm making this video in response to the recent occurrences, uh, it's really recent in terms of the two murders that have happened between the cops and at the uh, two black males that just recently, which is, I mean, just, you know, lives ended, you know, really early. You know, it's sad. Uh, I wanted to go downtown be part of the protest, but unfortunately, um, that requires walking and uh, my health isn't as it should be, I'm you know, kind of working through it, and um, right now I can't walk very long, and you know, at all in some cases. So um, it depends what day it is, I guess, you know. But I feel that the video was the next best thing, so I'm trying that. Um, so long story short, I, I I myself have had experiences with the police where, you know, there was one in particular where there was like a red light. I wasn't even driving. Um, my friend was white, and then the some cars were in front of us and cut us off and we're like, whoa, you know, so then we inadvertently um, went to the red light, you know, we were trying not to, but it was like, what else can you do? You know, car, car cut right in front of you, the light turned red, you're stuck out, you know, so the cops saw that and they pulled us over like, oh, that sucks, you know. Um, and I can say I was not driving. I was, at the time, you know, I was working at call centers and, you know, as a manager and had like a suit and my hair wasn't, I mean, I still had my hair, but it wasn't point and tail on, you know, I was like pretty professional looking and, um, they just ran around, you know, and pull us over and then, uh, you know, get your license, you know, all ID, all that stuff out, right. You know, ran around the corner, uh, and in the car on my side, whipped open the door like super fast and grabbed my arm. Like I looked at like this, like my arm, like saw his hand right there and saying like, wait a minute, did he just grab my arm? For no reason, I'm just sitting here, you know. And then he looked at me in the eye like this, like it was like this, this like, like, craziest look I've ever seen one have in their life. Like the look was like, and, and he had the authority to use it and to say whatever, you know. Oh, oh, uh, I had it just because he did that, you know. You know, there's no cameras, you know. That's the thing at the time. I mean, streaming live wasn't as as big then, you know. Um, so it's harder. Uh, long story short, with that I actually. It was like a miracle, I mean, right? As he grabbed my arm, and he was slowly pulling me out of the car. He was like pulling me out of the car. I get a call on his phone. He like on his uh, whatever that CB radio thing they have on their shoulders or something. And uh, they're like, "Oh, wait for emergency, something, something code number." And they're like, "Oh, wow, that's that's close by. We gotta check that out." And he's like, "Oh, it's just a lucky day, man. Lucky day, you know." It's like, "Lucky day? I didn't do anything, you know." And uh, so he just like let me go. I closed the door. You know, straightened my suit, and I was like, you know, what the hell? You know, it's crazy. Um, I was lucky. Who knows what he could have done? I mean, I mean, I had no reason to even open my door, you know. You know, and no reason to grab me on top of that. So, and I was like in a total public place with people running around in a busy intersection. Busy intersection. Imagine if I was like, you know, some dark area or rural area, you know, with like no witnesses. I hate to think what it would have done, you know. Uh, so... Uh, since I saw the videos um, that everyone's sharing right now and I saw that myself and that's like, well, you know, he kind of, in a sense, put myself in his position. Like, that could have been me. I could have been next. That could have been me, you know. That could have been you, you know, depending, you know, who you are, I guess, you know, at that time. But um, definitely, um, this is a problem that's happened for decades, you know. Um not just in small cities, I mean, large cities, you know, busy sections, you know, uh, people, uh, the person that actually it happened to, he was a teacher. He was a teacher. You know, he was a grown man with a family. I believe, um, he told the, the cop that in his car, there was a gun because he has a license for it. You know, he paid his license for it. He's laying on ahead of time. You know, he was, he was in his chair with a seatbelt, his arm, and you see the video, his arm was under the seatbelt. Like, you know, he was not in, like, you know, going crazy or something like that. He was just sitting in the, in the chair like that, you know, and he told them. Um, and the other video I saw, uh, the guy was pinned down by two cops and they shot him twice. He was pinned down, the car was to next him. He couldn't move because the car was like right there against his body. And then the cops are pinning him down and they shot him twice, you know, it's like on video, you know, like, oh, I don't care. You know, that's, that's like the mentality they had. You know, like, I don't care. Plenty of witnesses. 
I get away with it. Because people are used to getting away with it, you know. And uh, uh, we just can't let it happen anymore. I mean, the more we share our stories, as painful as it is, share your story to everyone, you know. Put it out there, you know, in some way or another, where you make a video or you talk to your friends and you start sharing your stories or you make it public, whatever it is. It's sort of like it's it's moving. It's, it's a live entity that people put their energy together and make a statement saying that, you know, this is a reality. Um, this is what we're all going through at some point or another. Just some of us survive and some of us die. You know, I luckily survived, you know. But I could have died. Who knows what could have happened, you know. Um, I look at my family, I'm thankful every day that I'm here with them, you know. Because it could have been me, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I guess the main thing is, is the awareness. You know, uh, if you're not black... You, you might as still be harassed, you know. Uh, it's just your chances are just, it seems to be much higher if you are black. Much higher, you know. And it's like, uh, makes no sense. It makes no sense. I mean, I, I mean, it's like, I mean, um, I, I come from the standpoint to where I was raised, I was lucky to be raised around a lot of different cultures, you know. I was like, you know, uh, American, Middle Eastern, Asian, German, my Kung Fu instructor was German, you know, like I, I've seen so many different cultures growing up, you know, from a little tadpole, you know, swimming around and and evolving in, into a man, you know, and uh, now that I'm 38, you know, it feels like, um, you know, by now I'm I'm thinking, oh yeah, you know, we, we evolved so much, you know, America has gotten so much more progressive in a lot of ways it has, you know, but man, it's, uh, you get reminders like this, you're like, has anything changed? Would it ever change? You know, and and it, it's daunting to think that it that it's been like this for so long. You know, but uh, it has to change. I mean, if if you accept that as reality, that would never, then it would never will. So, do what you can to fight it res responsibly, though. You know, don't become part of the problem either. You know, so we all have a, a responsibility to to lead by example. You know, because what you do influences others. So, try to. And that goes for everybody, you know, so, um, I made another video recently about anti-bullying, and this is, like, way past that point, you know, this, this video is, it's like an evolution of that, you know, it's like, this is anti, you know, oppression, you know, and, um, uh, being, uh, treated like you're small, just belittled, you know, like, it, it breaks your soul to know that, um, it's like, it seems like, what was it, statistically, like, one out of six uh, black males, you know, are being, um, at some point, either harassed by the cops or some type of, like, uh, over-exaggerated, you know, profiling by cops, at least pro being profiled, you know, for just walking around. And, and, um, and that's what's reported. Imagine what's not reported, you know. And in some cities, it's worse, you know. Um... I'm thankful that, you know, I'm still here, but who knows? It could, I, I can go outside tomorrow and it could happen to me, you know, but I can't live in a fear. You know, you can't live in fear by it, but you can't, you know, imagine it doesn't exist either. So, you know that this is a reality, um, but don't live in fear. Just, you know, use that as, as fuel to push you further. You know, it's like, you know, add your energy to others, talk about it, share your stories, and... Together we can get through this, you know. I don't know how long it's going to take, but got to start somewhere.